all right, you, you walk inside a, uh, in a bank and all right, it's just, it's just one girl in the bank. You know, you like, let me, let me go get in her line. Cause I want to get in her line. Cause you know, she's just so beautiful. But you know, I, 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 you know, she got a big, big ring on her marriage finger, but you know, I know she married. I don't want to, I just, she's just nice. So I get in the line, so on, so so on, so on. And I go there and I deal with, you know, every time I get my check, I go deal with her. And all of a sudden, uh, you know, when I say, I, I make her laugh, you know, we laugh a little bit. You know, I'm like, yeah, she's she really, she really nice. You know, then one day I come in there and um, she was like, man, I'm like, how you doing there? Oh, uh, uh, well, you know, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, well, what's wrong? I mean, well, you know, I mean, now, I, hey, can I help you? No, seriously, what's wrong? Well, you know, I'm just kind of going through with my, with my, with my, with my man. I just whatever. Well, oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, okay, all right, thanks a lot. You come back again. Next thing you know, um. Uh, we we all getting together now, and so and so. Um, you know, if you want, you know, you you can stop down. Oh yeah, sure, okay. I, you know, I, I, I'll stop down there. Next thing you know, it says they that are in the flesh do mind the things. Now, now, while I'm not at the bank, I'm thinking about, you know, I'm pitching her in the mind, getting little pictures in my mind, like, oh, yeah, she's really nice. Yeah. yeah. You know, now I get down, we go down and have a couple drinks. And uh, she's not, yeah, 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 I really like talking to you. I really had a good time, you know. You know, so yeah, if you, if you want, just give me a call sometime, whatever. Now I got this number. Number is burning a hole in my brain. I'm thinking, no, I'm not going to call today. I'm not going to call today. I don't want to see All right, then. Uh, all right. Well, let me just, uh, just call. Let's just see how she's doing. It says, when lust have conceived, it bring for once this thing get planted in your mind, that means it's born. The thought, the reality, you start picturing yourself with this person. You know, and y'all talk, y'all done had stimulating conversation. Next thing you know, y'all start feeling each other. And and it'd be so, it'd be so wonderful. You'd be like, that, nah, nah, this, this this might be the most hot. Huh? Now, this might be this might be the most high. I mean, I know she, but they, you know, the he, they ain't really getting along. You know, he don't want to. You know, I, I, I don't know what be happening with y'all, and that's a hypothetical situation of a reality that I have lived many times when, when things have coming to my mind. It's, it's things that are coming to my mind. It used to be so bad that I'd be like, oh my God, Lord, that's not me. That's not me. This is me right here, Lord. I'm talking to you right here. Just bless you, Father. This is my voice right here. I'm the, I don't know what's going on with that. Thought me so horrible. You know, so you got to it says, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. So if something go down, I'm going into the same bank. I see this girl, she's like, oh, like, so beautiful. I go to the bank, I don't even look at her in her eyes. I make my transaction and I'm out. I'm like, I ain't going to know. I'm not getting in that line no more. That's the not cool line. Matter of fact, I'm not going back to that bank. Right. Especially if I feel if I feel that tingling in my flesh, man, you better run. You got to run from sin. You cannot sin against the most high. Because if you sin against the most high, you take a chance on grieving the Holy Spirit. You could irk the Holy Spirit so much that it'll just bounce. It'll be out. You'd be like, what's a prayer? Can't even read the Bible. You'd be like, I know I need to read. You try to read. You, you read 10 minutes. You, 
Okay, I read I read two chapters. Uh, thank you, Lord. Lord, thank you for the reading of your word. Then turn the TV on, then you cool. You know, life is you back to regular. You don't want to do that. It says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, they that are after the spirit, things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. You got to go through your day thinking about the things of the spirit. I actually, when I go through, through certain things, you know, especially if I'm really getting oppressed by a demon that's up in somebody. You know, I have to, I have to, I have to, first of all, I have to make myself pray for the person that the oppression is coming through. <clears throat> because the person that's being a host, they don't even realize that they're being a host to an entity or several entities. <clears throat> and so they be coming at you and they be feeling some kind of way but they don't know that it's all spiritual activity, demonic activity. <clears throat> and you got to kind of like not look at the people because if you look at like, I can't believe it. Did it what did you say to me? Like, man, it's you out of your mind. You'd be ready to stand up for yourself. <clears throat> You'd be like, hold up. What did you just say? All right, see, here we go. <clears throat> Time to do battle. I got a fight. I got a war in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? And you got to be, you got to mind the things that you got to think spiritually. <clears throat> you got to think about why the enemy see if, if you walk into the spirit, you're thinking about things in the spirit. You speaking the words of spirit and life to people. Then you automatically become a threat to Satan's kingdom. You know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> anyway, it says, because to be carnally minded is death, to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Let me just turn this air off. It's cold. <laughs> it said, to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Uh, because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High. So your carnal mind is at war with the Most High. For it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. So if you have not been born again, you can't serve the law of the Most High. You can't be righteous. You will get up and fall down. It says, so then, they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High. If you're living your life fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, you are by nature, natural germination, a child of wrath. You're going to get jacked up. But if you are not, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if so be that the spirit of Christ dwells in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he don't belong to him. He's none of his. And if Christ be in you, your physical body is dead because of sin. That means that the sins that you did in your ignorance are not being manifested in that body anymore. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. Now, through the influence and grace of the spirit, you're manifesting the works, the righteous character of Christ in your body. But if, if the spirit of him that raised up your shy from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also give life, quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwells in your mortal body. So it's going to be a manifestation of the righteous character of Christ taking place in your body if the spirit of Christ is dwelling in you. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. Now, we don't got to live after the flesh. We don't owe that no more because we're no longer un under the law. If we're in Christ, we're not under the law of Moses. 
with the, those, it says blotting out the handwriting of ordinances which was against us and contrary to us. It was contrary to us because we was living contrary to it. But now if the spirit of Christ is dwelling in your mortal body, then you are manifesting the righteous character of the law. You're no longer condemned by the law. You're free in the spirit. For if you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if you through the spirit do mortify, put to death through pain and suffering, the deeds of your physical body, ye shall live. For as many as are led by the spirit of Christ, they are the sons of the most high. For as many as uh, for ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. So now we when we get in that place in Christ, we have rest, we have peace. See, because if we're afraid of bills, we're afraid of losing, we're afraid of gaining, we're afraid of anything, then Satan has us. Because he's he kept the whole creation and bondage through fear. Self-preservation is fear. It's a natural thing. It's a carnal thing. So in order to be delivered from that fear, that self-preservation, <clears throat> we have to be born again by the Spirit of Christ. You've not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you've received the spirit of adoption. Now you've been adopted by the Father and received as a son. This is whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself bears witness to testify jointly that is corroborated by concurrent evidence. The Spirit is going to let you know that the Spirit is with you, that you are a child of the Most High. And if children, then heirs. Heirs of the Father and joint heirs with Christ. That means a co-heir. So whatever Christ inherits, whatever his inheritance is, that's your inheritance if you are in the spirit of Christ. If so be, we suffer with him. So we have to suffer. We have to take the behind whipping. We have to deny ourselves that we might also be glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that's going to be revealed in us. All right, so that's basically it on that. Um, you there, Brother Uri? Yeah, I'm here. You feel like praying out? And I gotta tell you, brother, <laughs> a lot of, that was some pinpoint accuracy <laughs> what you were saying. Uh, yeah, I pray us out, dear Heavenly Father. Thank you for this evening that we were allowed to come together in Your holy and mighty name. Thank you for the gift of unity and the gift of peace, allowing the Spirit to flow and have His way amongst us all, so that we may be edified in Your Word and even given an opportunity to do a self-examination based on how the spirit was guiding in Ramakaya. We thank you for the love and the peace of this gathering. And once again, I pray for each and every person here that throughout the week until we meet again, that you keep us safe from the snares and the tricks and the traps of the enemy and give us the ability, that power that we need to resist the desires of our flesh, to resist them, to be able to stand in the day of temptation from the enemy. I thank you for all things, for helping us to grow stronger in you so that we may be more acceptable to you. Thank you for all. So be it. All right, shalom, everybody. Thank you, brother. You right. Hey, you too, man. All right, y'all, shalom.